My ENME 351 project, I chose to do a remote start for my car, which as you can see, I'll press the A button, car will remote start, come on over here, the C button on the remote unlocks the car, which as you can see right now, it is locked, hold C, car unlocks, now if you come on in here, I made a gauge, which you can see, I get it currently says running unlocked, which it is, and when I go, and I can hit the B button, it'll kill the engine. I hit that, it says engine is off. So now, I'll show you the whole entire process. Hold A, it gives the starting, it's running locked, hit C, unlock the car, running unlocked, and then if we pan back a little, right here I have a capacitive touch sensor which is for the purpose of killing the car once you put your keys in the ignition. So I press that, engine turns off, gauge goes back to off, and that is the overview of my project. Now I want to show you the processing portion of my project. Come on over here, take a, take a peek. So on the processing screen, I have a little car that shows up with the road and the sun, of course. Now as I start the car holding A, the car lights will come on. It also says starting right here, the flashes. The road starts moving, signaling that the car is on. Now when I hold C to press the unlock button, it signals that it, the car is unlocked and still running. Now as I hold B, the car will turn off and everything will stop. Now. The next portion of this, I'll remove the seat and show you the hardware. Bam! Seat is removed. If you come on in here, you can see I have the radio frequency receiver hooked up to my breadboard, which communicates from the transmitter. Also, I have the capacitive touch sensor, which is wired into my kick panel over here, which kills the engine when my keys are in the ignition. I also have two relay blocks. One is for the starter, the ignition, and also to unlock the car. I have the stepper motor controller, which communicates with my gauge, which I've shown earlier. Also, I have my electronic buzzer, which makes sound when the car is being started. I have a temperature sensor, which is ran underneath the console, which you cannot see, which determines how long the engine should be cranked, whether it's a cold start or a warm start. I also have a cigarette lighter, charger that I took apart and soldered a power and ground wire to which supplies 5 volts to the Arduino.